Oh, oh, okay. I am so excited and look, look, I know you're not supposed to run with scissors in your hands, but like, I just got home and look what's here. This is the Google Pixel XL2. I've been waiting a few weeks for this. Actually, I've been waiting months for it because I'm tired of my current phone and oh my God, it's here. So I don't even want to waste time. Let's just get to it and start unboxing this. Uh, the box has some Google G's on the bottom. Nice Google G's. Oh, wow. I don't understand. Google thinks I said hi to her. I said the box has Google G's on it and Google thought I said hi. Google Store. Okay, there it is. The Pixel 2 XL. And bubble wrap. Oh, wow. Okay, that was louder than I thought it would be. Use Project 5. Start here. Enjoy sim-free setup on your new Pixel 2. So I don't use Project 5, which is Google's own cell phone carrier. Um, there's a lot of restrictions on it right now, and it doesn't include a lot of the benefits that I get from T-Mobile, so I haven't switched to Project 5 yet. New this year is that it actually has an eSIM, so a virtual SIM card inside the phone that you don't have to pop out, put one in. It's just in there, can be activated. On to the good stuff. As you can see, I got the just black version of the Pixel XL2. On the side of the box, you get a little nice view of how thin the phone is. And on the other side, it lets you know that Google Assistant is built in with a little picture of the Google Lens, which is launching in beta on the Pixel. On the back, you get that nice hashtag Team Pixel, which is the hashtag that Google is encouraging people to use when they share their photos. Basically, their response to the hashtag shot on iPhone campaign. At the bottom, you'll see that the phone I got is the 64 gig version. I opted to not get the 128 gig version because I find I typically don't need more storage on my phone. A lot of my music is in the cloud and I get unlimited streaming on Google Play Music through T-Mobile. I also use Google Photos. It's hands down my favorite app I've ever used. Free photo backups in the cloud at I believe 16 megapixels without paying. I have thousands of photos backed up all the way back to when I was a baby. That things that we had archived as a family, I put them on Google Photos. I'll put a link in the description for Google Photos if you're interested. I absolutely love it. And it works on iOS or Android. All right, so let's open up this Pixel XL2. I am so excited. Very gently break the seal. Ooh, there it is. Let's lift this up. So here's our instruction manuals. We also have a USB-C adapter that is small on one side, big on the other. This is for transferring from an iPhone to the Pixel. We also have the charging brick. Now Google is including a fast charger this year. Google Pixel 2 is capable of fast charging, which I believe they're saying can give you seven hours of battery life and just 15 minutes of charge. Unbelievable. All my Motorola phones have had this quick charge technology. I use quick chargers off beside my bed. I use quick chargers in my car. I use a quick charger at work. This is literally the technology that's changed everything and that I know Apple still has not cracked. The new iPhones may have quick charging, but you have to buy this weird dongle thing and then another charger that it doesn't come with. No bueno. And the rest of the cords are in the box. And then this is the headphone jack to USB-C, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to USB-C cable. I don't know about you guys, like, I don't use headphones in my phone that much, but when I do, it is pretty annoying to use this thing. Bring back the headphone jack. I want a bigger battery, Google, and Apple, and Samsung, and Motorola. Like, enough is enough. Bring back the headphone jack. All right, this is the big moment you guys have all been waiting for. Let's take a look at the Pixel 2 XL itself. Get rid of this. And there it is. So right away, they already have a really nice ad on the front of the display advertising the Google Assistant. Hi, how can I help? Just start with OK Google, squeeze the sides of your phone, or touch and hold the home button. All right, let's unwrap this. I love the feel, first reaction. I absolutely love the texture of the back. It's almost like a rough metal, so it's really, it feels more grippy than what you get on an iPhone. Very minimal camera bump, which is nice to see. Really nice feel in my hand. 
If I compare this to my Moto Z, which is what I've been using for the past year, they're pretty much the same size, but the Pixel 2 has a much bigger screen. It's a six inch screen. And the way the Pixel 2 is designed, the screen just reaches more of the device than the Moto Z does. All right, let's turn on this device. All right, switch to the first person view. There are my hands, there's the phone, there's my Band-Aid. Wow, that screen is big and clear and smooth, powered by Android. Okay, can I just say already that boot animation was nicer than any on any Android phone I've owned ever. All right, time to insert my SIM. All right, SIM is in and we're gonna connect to Wi-Fi. Oh, checking for updates. Now Google does have a built-in data transfer tool that uses Wi-Fi direct between devices. It seems like what they've built for the Pixel 2 is a brand new version of that. And I'm guessing that this will actually roll out to all of Android, like most of the features that Google does. While this loads, there are two versions of the Pixel. There's the Pixel 2 XL, which I have, but there's also the Pixel 2 regular. Now the difference mainly is the size. This is a six inch screen with rounded edges. The Pixel 2 would have a screen more like my Moto Z that doesn't have rounded corners, doesn't fill up the whole face of the device, and that is a five inch screen, so smaller than this. All right, it's time to use my old phone. You need an old Android or iPhone device. Turn it on and keep it unlocked. All right, find the cable. Got it. Insert the cable. Okay. All right, phones are connected, it notices it, and it is now copying. All right, so as the copy is working, right now it's asking me to choose what to copy. It's showing I have 48 gigabytes on the device free, and what I'm asking to copy would take up 10 gigabytes. This is pretty comprehensive. I mean, I've used Google's past transfer tool. It did not do music and photos and videos so this is really nice it also did not do sms messages so i am super super loving this and the beauty of the google cloud is that calendar photos contacts and gmail sync automatically the contacts up here are ones locally so let's copy this will probably take a while so i can jump right into the phone meet your google assistant teach the google assistant my voice and that's it it actually only needs two minutes it took about five minutes to copy 10 gigabytes which is really fast. I mean, this must be a high-speed cable. We're almost there, folks. Adding the finishing touches, and these little guys are taking a bow. All right, so device is powered on. I even love these new Oreo notifications. Look how they kind of group together at the bottom like that. It's super nice. You know, one of the best parts about having a Pixel phone is that you get all the Google releases the day Google releases them. So I am on Android. Oh, also known as Oreo. One of the new features on the Pixel 2 XL is the squeeze for assistant feature, which I'm gonna set up right now. Oh, that was easy. You know, what this actually felt like is the way Apple uses vibrations to make it feel like you're pressing down on the trackpad on say a MacBook or with haptic feedback and force touch on their mobile products. That kind of felt like that. It feels really nice. Make it yours. Customize your Pixel 2 with wallpaper. They have awesome new live wallpapers. See what songs are currently playing. Increase font size and add another fingerprint. I already added fingerprints, so let's look at some of the live wallpapers on here. It's really subtle, but you can see those waves move. And let's try the new now playing feature. So this feature allows your phone, when it's locked, to show you any song that's currently playing near it. Google actually is doing all of this sound analysis offline, so it somehow saved a library of thousands of songs that it can recognize without an internet connection, thereby meaning it's not sending what you're listening to to the cloud. Let's try this. There we go. So it took about 20 seconds, but there it is. So why buy a Pixel, right? Why buy a Google Pixel phone when Samsung really has the Android market? Like, what is the difference? Well, for me, the Pixel is about having stock Android instant updates to the OS. That includes both security patches and feature releases every year. The Pixel is gonna get at least three years of Google updates, meaning that this phone will last and get updates going from Android O, as it currently has Oreo, to P, Q, and R updates. Having stock Android to me is just something I like. It's the reason I've been buying Motorola phones for the past three years. I just got a text from my friend Ray. He asked how the Pixel is. The Pixel's great. Send me a portrait mode selfie. Okay, in one minute. But stock Android is just nice. 
So Ray's text message asked me about the camera. I have not yet tried the camera, which is the highest rated smartphone camera in the world right now. It has a 98 on the DxO Mark mobile scale. I'm gonna try first to do a portrait mode selfie, which is a new feature that they've added this year. I'm gonna do like a really nice model pose. Okay, I took the picture. Let's see it. Wow, I mean, that works. Definitely blurred the background. And if I look around my hair. All right, so what's cool about the Pixel is that on the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL, Google is able to achieve portrait mode on the rear using only one camera. Now they do this by having something they're calling dual pixels. So inside of the camera itself, using a difference of microns, they're able to actually do portrait mode with a single camera that they argue is just as good, if not better, than what Apple's done. They've tested it on almost a million faces too. So overall, I am really excited about the Pixel 2. This is just the first hands-on unboxing, first boot video, but if you guys wanna see more, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll demo some more features, let you know like maybe how Snapchat's working on it or how the camera works in low light. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, bye guys, and vlog.